Meeting notes. Yes, that dreaded word, which is often get mentioned when you're in the middle of your meeting. Who wants to write up the notes? But what if we could remove that anxiety and instead we could use the right tool in the right meeting with the right features to ensure that note taking no longer becomes a chore? And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. Nine features across OneNote, Loop and Microsoft Teams that make taking notes even easier. And if you like what I'm going to share with you today, please let me know by hitting that like button or just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alongside that, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any tutorial just like this every single week. So let's head in to OneNote. So first off, when it comes to taking notes, many people head straight back into OneNote, but there are a couple of features that most people overlook that can improve the way they take notes right inside of OneNote. In here, we've got a blank page I've created to capture some meeting notes, but the problem is I'd like to also include the attendees and the subject of our meeting. I don't have to write that in to the page itself. Instead, I can go and select meeting details from our OneNote ribbon bar. On the right hand side, we can now select the calendar icon to find the relevant meeting that happened on a particular day. When we've found it, go ahead and then left click and we can bring it into the page itself. And straight away here now, we have the participants of the meeting. It could also include the invitation message, which includes a link to the meeting and also those agenda points. Now, as your meeting progresses and you want to capture those notes, scroll down and in your dedicated notes section, you can now begin to capture your notes as the meeting commences and also continues on. But when it comes to capturing your notes, I guess in one note we have to write them in manually. And no, you don't need to. In fact, there's another option. Head to the top of our ribbon bar and then select transcribe. On the right hand side, we can now choose the language of the meeting. You can also upload your audio file, like an MP3 file that you've recorded from your meeting. But instead, if you're having that meeting live in the room, you can now select start recording. Now you should also let people know that you're transcribing your meeting because they won't be notified. But now the meeting is being transcribed. As we discuss points in this meeting, it'll go ahead and record those. But do be aware, if you don't have a co-pilot paid license, you'll only get 300 minutes per month. Whereas you get 30,000 minutes of transcription, if you have a Microsoft Copilot paid license. So let's go ahead and select save and transcribe now. You'll now see the audio file has been uploaded to OneDrive. And there we go. We can now see some of those points that we've transcribed during our meeting. To edit the speaker, select the pencil icon and simply over type the speaker name. Select change all speakers to make it easier for you. And then go ahead and click on the tick icon on the right hand side. With that now done, we want to bring it into our notes page and you can see automatically has the audio file shown here, but I want to bring in this text. So I'll now select add to page and choose what I'd like to bring into the page. Text, with speakers, with timestamps and both. Well, I'll go ahead and select with speakers. And there we go. We can now see that the transcript is showing that content right inside of your OneNote page. So another simple way to work within your OneNote page and capture all of those different meeting notes. And there's also a simple way to manage your tasks right from your OneNote page. What we have here is a few next steps. If I highlight the content in the submenu that appears, I can now select Outlook Tasks. I can set the due date when they should also be due for. I'll go ahead and set it for this week. And it'll also appear in Microsoft To Do as part of your flagged emails. So a simple way there as well to manage your tasks right inside of your notes taken inside of OneNote. Many people also use Microsoft Loop to take their notes, but did you know there's also some shortcuts here to improve the way you also work with notes? First off, we have a dedicated space called My Workspace. This is a Loop workspace which is only given access to you that you could also share content from a little later on. When we open it, we get a brand new page appear. I often see now people copying in their meeting notes or creating their own sections, which can take some time. Instead, scroll to the bottom and select Template Gallery. In here, you have a selection of loop templates that you can also use to structure your notes and more. 
Select meeting notes on the left hand side and then use template. And there we go. We now have a loop page structured that we can use it for meeting notes. That means we have now a place to work with our notes really quickly without creating all of those sections ourselves. And inside of this loop page, it can also help us with task management in a better way that OneNote could. As we can see here, we have a task list, which has actually been created right inside of our template. I'll now go ahead and give this task a name, Scott to draft the high level project outline. And now I can assign it to me or one of my colleagues. I'll go ahead and select Scott here. Then I'll also select the due date when this is due for next week. And now what happens? Well, it automatically synchronizes with Microsoft to do because your task list is actually created right inside of Microsoft Planner. So in this way, automated emails are sent out to any party that you give tasks to internally. And this is also a great way to bring all of your tasks together using other apps like Microsoft Planner inside of Teams. A simple way to manage all of your tasks right from all of those meeting notes. And with our notes now all completed, Loop also has a bit of a party trick, which allows us to share this content right in place, meaning that both me and my colleagues can update the notes with the right level of detail. To achieve that, we'll go and select Share on this page and then select Loop Component. This now means this page can be available to others. We can see by default, it's available to the whole company with edit rights, but we can select Settings and override this to specific people or even choose a level of rights needed. But let's go ahead and just share this link and see what happens. Well, let's head straight into a new email and simply paste in the link that I've just generated inside of our loop page. And there we go. There's all of our meeting notes. I can now send this over to Alex and Nestor. They could now also make changes to it right on the Outlook email and keep it all synced right inside of my own loop workspace, which we also saw earlier. So a simple way to work with your meeting notes right with Loop and share them with your other colleagues. So we've already seen how much time we can save when we use the right app and the right features to take our notes. And don't worry, there's even more to come. But imagine how much time we can save by understanding the wider Microsoft 365 suite and Copilot that can provide AI capabilities. Yes, there can be enormous time savings, but how can you achieve them? Well, if you need help, you can reach out to us at Your365 Coach. We have on-demand learning through our own academy with over 300 video lessons that you can access 24-7. If you want something more personal, then me and the team can also provide live training sessions to help you get the most from Microsoft 365 and Copilot. So now you know where to go to save even more time. Let's continue to check out meeting notes capability and save you those all important minutes. But we also join so many meetings in Microsoft Teams, and surely there's a better way to work with apps like Loop right inside of Teams, and there absolutely is. If we want to use Microsoft Loop's meeting notes right inside of a Teams meeting, it's really easy to do. All we now need to do is schedule our meeting right inside of Teams or inside of Outlook, and I'll go ahead and open up a new meeting invitation. I'll also define the title and bring in my colleagues. But instead of them pasting in these points of our agenda here, which are plain text, and they can't be changed or marked off during our meeting, instead we'll go down and select add an agenda. And this opens a brand new Microsoft Loop page to capture our meeting notes right inside of our meeting. I'll therefore go to our agenda section and then paste in the points here. We can actually see these can be checked off either here or even during the meeting. Our meeting notes can be captured and follow-up tasks can also be as well, which are going to be synced right inside of Microsoft Planner and To Do. So let's go ahead and share this meeting with one of my colleagues and then go and join it too. And now I've joined this meeting, we can see something that happens right inside of the Teams meeting. It opens a new notes section and on the right hand side, our agenda points are shown. As I mentioned just now, we can simply check these off as we go during the meeting to ensure we're following on all of our agenda points. We can even go ahead and write in our meeting notes right here or go and add the tasks for the team to follow up with later. But that's a simple way there to now use meeting notes capability powered by Loop right inside of Teams to improve your meeting. And there's another way Microsoft Teams to capture meeting notes without you writing a single word. 
As we can see here, I have a meeting invitation I'm sharing one of my colleagues with an agenda we need to follow. I'll go ahead and click on send to share that. All we then need to do is go ahead and open up our Microsoft Teams meeting in the same way that we would on any other meeting. With that done, I'll select join and then the meeting will start. But at this point, I want my meeting notes to be captured for me. And if you have a Microsoft Teams Premium License or a Microsoft Copilot Paid License, you will also be able to do this too. Head to the top and select the Freed Up More menu. Select Record and Transcribe and then Start Transcription and choose a language of your meeting. With that done, within a few seconds, you'll see on the right hand side of your Teams meeting that anyone who talks in your meeting will be defined by name alongside the words they are speaking in a text-based transcript. This is now also used to capture meeting notes following the meeting itself. When your meeting is ready to be concluded, all you then need to do is on the right hand side, go ahead and select end meeting. And then you'll be able to catch up on this meeting later, either from the meeting notes or all of the follow up tasks too. And following that meeting, I also get a notification in Teams to let me know that meeting recap is ready. It summarizes those meeting notes taken straight from the meeting and any follow up tasks where I can take into different apps. I can also select transcript and even download a copy in a document format. So there you go, a simple way to capture your meeting notes with intelligent recap built into Teams with transcription. But what if we could also bring those together? The power of loop meeting notes with also transcription. Well, Microsoft have a new agent to deliver that called Facilitator. And yes, you will need a Copilot paid license to use this agent. But as we can see here, I'm scheduling a new meeting inside a new Outlook, or you could also do this in Microsoft Teams calendar. And when I'm drafting my meeting, I can see a new option next to Teams meeting stating facilitator is off for this meeting, turn on. I'll go ahead and enable this. And when the meeting starts, our new AI agent facilitator will also join the meeting and then begin to take notes and write them straight into our loop powered meeting notes. Yes, that means all the meeting notes and tasks will also be created and documented by facilitator. Let's go ahead and then send this over to Alex and join our meeting. And when we join the meeting, immediately we can see here that it notes Facilitator is on and taking notes. At this point, Facilitator is now listening to the meeting to write up our notes. And that will happen in our notes button here. We can see though, it has an icon showing that AI, i.e. Facilitator, is now taking notes. So as our meeting progresses, we'll now see the meeting notes are added as well as any follow-up tasks between me, Alex, and anyone else who has also joined this meeting. And there we go. We can see in real time, the meeting notes are now being written straight into the meeting notes section, which is indeed a Microsoft Loop page. We'll also see very shortly a number of follow-up tasks being written as well, which can then be allocated to our colleagues, and which is powered by Planner and Microsoft To Do. So there you go. We covered nine features across OneNote, Loop and Microsoft Teams to improve the way that we take our notes. But what do I use personally? Well, for me, Microsoft Loop is still my go-to. I use Loop to write up my own personal notes across the day. And when I'm in meetings, I use the collaborative meeting notes to also support the meeting and write our notes up. But I do have a Copilot license, which means I can use Facilitator as well to have them written up for me. But I don't always use that. Sometimes I'm quite happy just drafting some ideas and notes straight into our collaborative notes in Teams which is more than sufficient for me. So it doesn't mean now that if you don't have Copilot, well that you won't get any benefit from these note taking capabilities because you absolutely can. So now I hope you found new ways to approach your note taking. Why not let me know if you feel I've missed anything in the comments below. What apps do you use to take notes? What have you found in the best ways to work with your notes? I'd love to know. As well as that, if this video has helped, hit that like button and the all important subscribe button if you haven't already to find more tutorials just like this every single week. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.